time, so when I'm on the road, I need to get to files from my home PC. This used to be a real problem until I discovered remote desktop connection. Now I can use my laptop to connect to my home PC anywhere there's an internet connection. Hi, I'm Jonathan Garig, a program manager on the Windows team. Today I'm going to show you how to connect to and control one computer by using a different computer. First, I'll need to set up my home PC so that I can connect to it later. I'll click the Start button, type Remote Settings, and then click Allow Remote Access to Your Computer. If you're connecting from a computer running Windows XP, click the second option. If you're connecting from a Windows 7 or Windows Vista computer, you'd want to click the third option. I'm using Windows 7 on my laptop, so I'll click here. My home PC needs to have a user account with a password for security. This is the account I'll use to log on to my home PC from my laptop. Then check the computer name to make sure you have it. You'll need this later when you're ready to connect. To find the computer name, click the Start button, right-click Computer, and then click Properties. The name is listed right here. Now that we've allowed connections, it's time to actually connect to my home computer. Let's give it a try using my laptop. I'll click the Start button, type Remote in the search box, and then click Remote Desktop Connection. In the Computer field, I'll type the name of my home computer, the name I wrote down a minute ago, and then I'll click Connect. I'll type in my username and password, and then click OK. When connecting to a computer, sometimes you'll see a security message. In this case, I know I set up the connection, so I know it's safe to proceed. Wow, check it out! I'm connected to my home computer now. It's running right here in this window. Now I can find those files that I needed. They're right here in this folder. I right-click the folder and click Copy. Then I just paste the folder onto my laptop. When I'm done with the remote computer, I disconnect from it by clicking the X at the top of the screen. This leaves all my programs running in case I need to connect again. With remote desktop connection, you can access your programs and files from a computer in another location. It's definitely made it much easier for me to get what I need, no matter where I am. In some situations, some additional setup is necessary. For example, if you have a home network. For more information, check out the Windows website.